My SQL cannot function without the score components, and one of its core components are storage engines. The main storage engine used in my SQL is SynodeDB. This storage engine is known as a high reliability and a high performance storage engine, and its main advantages include row level locking, full support for the ACID model, and foreign keys. This storage engine is also the default storage engine as of MySQL 5.5, and it has many settings unique to itself, which can be heavily tuned. My SAM was considered to be one of the primary competitors to SynodeDB, but as of MySQL 5.5, this storage engine is obsolete and come from the MySQL infrastructure entirely, starting from MySQL 8. These days, my SAM should only be used for count queries because the storage engine keeps its row count inside of its metadata, while InnoDB does not. Another interesting storage engine MySQL can offer is the CSV storage engine. This storage engine, as the name suggests, allows people to store data in a CSV format. It does not support indexing or partitioning, and also requires all of its columns to be defined as not null, so that's something you should be wary about. The memory storage engine stores all of the data inside of its memory. It does not support cluster or full text indexes, compressed data does not offer support for multiversion concurrency control, and also has limited support for replication. The black hole storage engine does not store data, and queries involving this storage engine will always return an empty result set. The archive storage engine is intended to be used as an archive for all data because it has a very small footprint on the disk. It does not offer support for indexes either. The federated storage engine allows us to access data inside of another MySQL database without the need for replication or Clustering. And last but not least, the example storage engine is intended to be used as an example of how to build storage engines in MySQL. We hope that you have found this video to be informational and useful. Subscribe to learn more about the database world, and until next time.